Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Hichol style large flowers spring earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking, sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. I'm showing these earrings really easy and step by step and I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page i will be so happy to see them and i really often share them on my community tab on youtube you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you thank to all of you that are supporting me in the mentioned ways now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are five colors of 11 on seed beads purple iris white pink and red i'm also using here earring findings this is new bond nylon thread you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 11 beading needle you could use also size 10 or 12 the smaller sizes are easier to work with these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but i use them only if i need to go through the difficult beads and now i'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and in my first step i'm picking up eight of those beautiful iris beads and i'm going to slide those down I will stick here my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made then I'm pulling and just be everything so nice tight and secure I make just one more knot here okay and then I'm going through some beads in this direction and pull in my next step guys i'm picking up five of those beautiful white beads you see i have five of those and as i'm exiting through one of those iris beads i skip the next one that's on my way and i go through the following then i take five white beads again i skip the one that's on my way and i go through the following again and again five beads okay my friends now i have this and what i do in my next step is go through two of those five white beads that i added take three pin beads skip the white bead that's on my way and go through the following and i have this okay three again and go through the second white counting from the center three pin beads skip the one that's on my way and go through the following again three pink and go through the second white counting from the center Okay, and continue this until the end. Okay, and this is the last step. From this row don't worry if it bends a little bit we'll fix it later 
Okay, my friends, and in my next step, I'm going through two pin beads in this direction. And in this way, I'm exiting through the middle pink, which is the one that sticks out the most. Okay, and I take five red beads. Okay, there are five. And I go in the next one that is sticking out the most. Again, five. I go in the next one that is sticking out. Five. Next one. Five. Next pink bead. And I will continue this until the end. Five again. And five more. Okay, now I have this. Now, in my next step, my friends, I'm going through two red beads here. Take five pink beads, skip the one that's on my way, and go through the following. Then take just one iris bead and go in the second thread counting from the pink part. Okay, and five beads. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. One iris. Go in the second thread. Five pink. Skip one and go through the following. One iris. Go in the second thread. And continue these guys until the end of this row. Five pink, one iris, five pink, one iris. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video. See from here and finish it. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And what I want to do in my next step is again go through two beads in this direction. Again, five beads, this time white. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Then take a purple, an iris and a purple, and go in the second pink counting from the red part. Five white beads. Skip the one that's on my way. And go like this. Purple iris purple. Go in the second pink counting from the center. Five white beads, skip the central, go through the following. And again, purple, iris, purple, go in the second pink. And this is what we are going to repeat until the end of this row. I'll do this off camera and meet you here. If you forget what I'm doing, just rewind the video and repeat these three steps until the end. 
Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last purple iris purple. And I go like this. Now, my friends, what I want to do is go here through these two white beads, take five purples, skip the next one that's on my way, and go through the following. Three purple, go in the middle iris, another three purple beads, go in the second white, five purple, skip the central one. Three purple, go into the iris, three purple again, second white, and five purple here, the same way. Okay, and I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end of this row. Three, three, five. Three, three, five. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind this part and repeat it until the end, and I'll meet you. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And in my next step, I'm going here through two purple beads. And I need three purple. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Absolutely the same way as I did before. Then I go in this direction through some beads and I want to exit here. You see these three purples I was adding last time. I will go through the middle one of them, which is sticking out the most. And I will take just one iris. And I go in the middle one of the next three purples. Okay. Then I'm going the same way in this direction. And through the first two of those five purples that I have on my way and I take three purple beads and go all the way through all of those beads and again after the white through two purples in this direction and now I'm exiting out of the middle one of these three purples that I added in my previous step and I go in the second or middle purple of the three that I have on my way. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, I go through two purple beads here. Take three purples. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. And exit here. And take one iris bead. And go in the middle purple. Okay? And I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last iris bead from this row. Now I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. And I'm adding three purple beads. I skip the one that's on my way and go through the next two beads. I take three purple, 
and I go in the iris. Then again I take three beads. I go in the second purple counting from the white part and in the next purple. Three purple. Go through the next two beads. Three again. And go in the iris. Three purple. Go in the second purple. After that in the next one. And three purple again. And go through two beads. Okay? And I'm going to repeat this guys until the end. Three, three, three on the top, three, three, three at the top. Okay, and when I'm ready with this row, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go through two beads in this direction. Then go through the next two. And through the following bead. Okay, then take two purple beads, go in the middle one of the next three purples. Okay, this is the middle one. Or you could, if you count from here, it is the second one of those three that we added in our previous step. Okay, and I take one iris, go again in the middle one of the next three that are on my way. And take two purple beads and go here. This is one, two, third purple counting from the white part. Okay. Then here at the top, just go through those beads without adding anything. And take two purple beads, go in the middle purple, one iris, go in the middle purple, two, and go here like this. And like this. Now go through the next purple as well. Two purple beads. Middle purple here. One iris. Middle purple. And continue the same way. Two purples. One, two, three go through the third one counting from the white part, go through all of those beads and reach here this purple. Then continue absolutely the same way, adding two purples here and going through the middle, middle purple and then an iris one and again going through the middle one and then again two here two and one iris and continue this until the end and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last two purple beads from this row. And then I need to take one iris bead, my earring finding, and one iris bead. And as I'm exiting at this 
talk a bit that is sticking out the most. I'm going backwards through it like this. And I need to reinforce. You could reinforce several more times, as many times as you could. And then you might want to find a place to make a knot and cut your thread. Let's say here at the angle. I'm making here a loop. I'm going once. I'm going second time through the loop I've made. I'm pulling, then I'm going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my large hitchhol style flower earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. You could also like, share and comment and you help me so much with only with these actions. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you for all of you that are supporting me in the mentioned ways. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.